it is very important that uh, we should um, consult broadly and wildly in order to generate an enabling environment and supportive environment for the post-2015 agenda. If you look at the Millennium Development Goals, it took about five years in discussion of these at the international level, another five years coming down to national level, and by the time they reached the local communities and we're trying to localize them, it was too late and already uh, t uh, 10 years later. It is important, while we are crafting the global development agenda beyond 2015, to ensure that the general population at the lowest level are on board and we can also take into consideration the felt needs on the current 16 areas that uh, are being proposed to become part of the sustainable development goals. If we do so then we are creating and localizing these that they at the end of the day form a uh, part of what the general populace can easily associate with. At the same time we need to build interrelations given disparities at the local levels and the fact that local governments and regional governments, sometimes their needs are not the same, and also some of these spill over cross boundaries uh, of various municipalities, and therefore you need the partnerships, one between the local uh, governments themselves, as well as the central government and other role players, as we try to increase the participation of the civil society, as well as that of the private sector. So because one of the things that we need to do beyond 2015 is create resilience communities that can look more and more towards the resources that are available within their communities, make their priorities and prioritize them according to their, their needs given the constraints of the resources they have in the communities. So therefore, in the future, the solutions for any development challenges would have to come from the communities because they are the ones who need, who want development and who know what they need and then can pri prioritize them than for them to be looking somewhere else for the solutions of their communities. The more and more we rely on local communities to generate solutions for their problems and find ways of leveraging including creating networks within the other areas or across the boundaries and the other social capital that may be available within the communities, the more we'll be able to achieve in the, with the sustainable, uh, sustainable Development Agenda post-2015. But also we need to look at institutional setup and political uh, leadership and administrative, uh, 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 the administrative framework within which this can uh, be dealt with. If we go to communities and look at the challenges of local governance and participatory democracy within local communities, they will be able to say to us, these are the bottlenecks, these are the challenges we have uh, uh, in local government and we need this policy framework and possibly legislation to create an, an, an able environment for this to root. We might have to adapt certain uh, interventions and strategies to suit the, uh, the, the local needs as seen by the people themselves. But this issue of youth, the demographics of the world are that majority of the world citizenry are now young people. And the very needs of young people mean that we also have to domesticate the agenda based on the needs of the majority of the citizens, uh, uh, therefore equitably addressing the challenges. There are marginalized groups in, in, in Botswana. One of these is that the people who are staying in very remote areas uh, who are very hard to reach and who sometimes even the studies we apply are not necessarily within their own culture. And it's only the people at the local level will know how best to address and deal with these issues. You see in the developing world, one of the things that we have undermined is devolution of power and resources to ensure that the communities can be able to, can be able to one, deal with the, uh, the issues and the challenges they know better we believe we can prescribe things to people. But if you take the culture of the people in very remote areas, it's going to take some of their own to be able to reach them within their culture and within the modalities within which they communicate and uh, they interrelate in the processes.